Well, as you can see, it's still cold here in Wisconsin, but I'm going to try to get the Equinox 800 out, which is my new detector. Try to take it for a test drive. Test out my new carbon shaft from Detecting Innovations called the Telenox. So if you're up for a little late winter, early spring metal detecting, stay tuned. Come along. Let's see what we can discover together. Well, I wanted to show you how my Telenox carbon shaft for the Equinox 800, how it actually assembled and how it compares to the Nocta Macro Simplex shaft. Hey, take a look at this, right? Pretty darn small. Um, you remember I was telling you about the camshafts in my last video that uh, I don't like them as much as the those on the simplex but they get the job done and I just love you know how small that is for transportation reasons about the same size as the Nocta Macro simplex simplex again I like these sh these camshafts here a little bit better I, th I think they're a better design but um, again what we're looking at here is the aftermarket replacement shaft for the Equinox. This is from Detecting Innovations. A bunch of guys over in the UK, I think, perhaps uh, initially designed and make these. I ordered this from Sirius Metal Detecting here in the States. Installed, no problems. Actually, I take that back, I had one issue. One issue. The pin here on the end appeared to be um, a little long. Now, this actually came with my Nox. This could be a Mine Labs issue don't know but it was a little too long for the um, combination of the cuffs and this shaft here from detecting innovations the Telenox so what I had to do here was simply add a rubber washer a rubber washer to uh, account for that extra length I'm ordering an extra pin here from mine labs to see if in fact that was the issue but an easy fix easy fix nonetheless so there you go the replacement shaft for the equinox from detecting innovations the telenox t-e-l-e hyphen k-n-o-x i'll let you know what i think well you take what you can get don't know how good of a hunt we'll have here today it is getting warmer here in wisconsin but not warm enough not quite what i'd like it to be let me show you what's going on here at the beach. So, you know, the ground thaws from the top down and I've got about three inches maybe here, max, maybe four. After that, it's as hard as cement. Okay, whatever it is, I got it actually out of the hole. 1314, are we talking bottle caps, folks? What's a 1314? Come on, let me know. Tell me. Where are you? She's in here somewhere. Did I get it? I did. I think I did. I believe this is a lead sinker of some type. Fishing sinker. ringing up in the high 30s and was, you know, you can see down here, that's a good eight inches down. getting something in the hole here but it is rock solid however I've got a coin right here we have here oh, I think we have a weedy weedy 
Let me try to get a date on this. Okay, 1946. 1946. Hey, that's a great old find here. had to dig a second plug and it's it's in there apparently so we'll see what it is it's ringing up like I said in the high high 20s 30 in the plug that's supposedly where it is let's see if we can get her out of here just making a mess here that's for sure This is it. Hmm. Could be a quarter. I think that's a quarter. Yes, it, it is. And the date. Oh, just a few years off. 1967. 1967. Close. Okay, well, that was great. So that was high 20s, 30s. Kind of recall quarters being in the 30 range wonderful that was just great first quarter with the equinox not a silver quarter but an old clad quarter excellent well i'm on a roll here with the locks last one was a sleigh maker rustless lock from the 30s or 40s this looks to be a modern master lock this was ringing up, I think, in the low 20s, 22, whatever, on the Equinox. Another quarter, I think. Deep, 10 inches. Let's see. Now, oh, this is interesting. In the hole, now, dug the plug. I'm getting a 24, 25. I can't recall. I think that's a dime, maybe a penny. But the plug has the 30 in it. So I've got two items here. I'll check them out with the pinpointer. There you go. There's item number one right there. Ah, wow. Interesting. Maybe there's a spill in here. This is, this is, this appears to be penny, a memorial penny, ringing up as 30. Wow really interesting corroded for sure i'm going to check the plug and see if i'm still getting a signal there i am i am There she is. There's the quarter, I think. Yes. Oh, nice and shiny. What year will it be, folks, huh? I wish I could do a quick pull. This is the state of Arkansas, and uh, I can't quite make out the year, but it's modern clad. I'll see if there's anything else in there, and then check out what is still in the hole. Well, that was at least a three-coin spill. I think that's it, 1973. You know, again, pretty cool that a coin that old is here. So um, I'm definitely going to hit this park again. This is in my hometown, not far away from me here. That was a that was a good uh, good six inches down. This particular find right here. Love the patina on that penny as well. Way to go. 16th President of the United States, Honest Abe. Favorite quote from Abraham Lincoln. If you have eight hours to chop down a tree, spend seven sharpening your axe. Oh, I can see it right there. Do you see it, folks? It's right in the plug here. It's 
right here. Yep, there she is. Right there. Oh, it's, this uh, dirt, it's hard to see what I'm gonna say. It's frozen solid, it, it's frozen solid. I'm in a shady area right here. And a uh, little harder to dig. I think this is gonna be maybe my last one here. Okay, definitely a quarter, modern quarter. Looks to be one of the state quarters here as well. Okay, we'll have to get this ID'd once she's cleaned up. Pretty cool find though. It's nice it was right there in the plug. Way to go, Equinox. It's warmed up just a bit, so I think I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. Really enjoying the Equinox here. If I had to say one thing, though, about the Telenox, okay, I'm not a tall guy. I'm about 5'7", and it's pretty much at length. I think if I were a little bit of a taller individual, it may, it may not be long enough for me. I kind of like to swing my detector out a little further. That might be part of the issue, is I'm, I'm, I'm swinging too far out, but uh, we'll see. I'll keep an eye on that and let you know what I think. Give this a dig. Okay. There we go. Nineteen ninety seven Roosevelt. Right. Get the plug nice and repaired. Again, I like to leave a hinge on my plug and to actually I'm cutting the my plug slightly larger. I think the larger the plug, the less likely it is to get sucked up by a mower, that type of thing. So sometimes I think the plugs are better being larger. This is again a muslin type of a cloth here, very durable. I absolutely love it. And uh, when I'm digging, I just will, I don't even resheathe my trow or my hori hori knife and just put it here and put it in my finder's bag. Works really well. Everybody, it's Rob. You can see behind me, still very cold here in Wisconsin, but I'm really itching to get my new Equinox 800 out and do a little detecting. So if you're up for just uh, whoa, GoPro stop cap.